Well, all right, friends, subscribers, internet strangers, what's up? Bearded Picker here. And today we're going to do a short little video on how to get off permanent marker on cardboard. Cardboard that is shiny cardboard. If it is tan cardboard, it doesn't work. Set up. All I have with me is some lighter fluid. We'll go ahead and put it on that sponge. You can get these guys. You can get that at Walmart. The sponges you can get at Walmart too. I ordered them on Amazon. There's a link down below if you want to order from Amazon. They're just much easier. And I've got the words hello again written on the box because man, the car's front man, Rick Ocasek, passed away yesterday. In the late 70s, early 80s, uh, I was a music guy. I love the cars. So yeah, they were, they were, they were just cool. So I find it works better if you use their colors. So we'll use the red one on this one and the black one on this one. So all we're going to do is wipe over it. You can see it's starting to disappear. We'll, do, we'll wipe off that part. Yeah, it's coming right off. Almost like I've done this before. It's gonna it's not nothing's gonna be perfect, but remember most of the time you're trying to get a price tag off. A price so you can resell it or use it without people going, man, you you're a cheap sucker. <laughs> so we will we'll let that one dry. You can still see the words hello just just barely. But it's, it's not nearly like it was. And we're going to do the again. Man, the red came out pretty quick, didn't it? All right, give these guys just a minute to dry. Let me show you how easy it is and how they turn out. I've been told that Germ Germex hand sanitizer works well too. I've never tried that, so maybe that'll be the next video is, is how to do that. But as you see, they're drying. They're drying really well. I'm, I'm going to help them out some. The black one did much better than, than this one. So, so we'll give it one more little helping hand here. Get off there. But it looks ten times better, and you can you can now give now give them the box with it, increase the value of your item when you're selling it by just getting rid of a price tag. Another great thing is once you've done this, you can order a little. Another tip to use on these kind of things is when you're, especially now this will just be for resellers. If you're if you're watching this for for stuff that you buy for your house, thank you for watching. I hope that really helps you out. If you're doing that for resale and you want to. Maybe make it look a little fancier or just use a little bit of a cover up. You can make have have little stickers made that say, thank you for buying on Amazon, thank you for buying on eBay. You can have something, you know, put a little star on there, something that the customer really won't think. I wonder what's under there. You know, it's just something a little nice, you know, a little thank you note. Think eBay works really, really well because they don't frown on that kind of stuff. You know, thank you for purchasing from eBay. Um, enjoy your item or thank you whatever you want to put on there personalize it and you be really amazed you know get the base of it off or even if they get the sticker off they don't find anything underneath it you know maybe a little discoloration but that doesn't matter that won't that won't scream oh my god I just paid full money for for something they got a goodwill so I hope that helps you out uh, look forward to more of these short videos just just how to's because I had a couple comments when I did this in a video, a, a yard sale video. They were like, I had never seen that before. So, hope it helps. Due to YouTubery, I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, it's college football. Roll Tide.